Welcome to another edition of the Smoke Box for Be Real TV. I got my man Dirtbag Dan in the fucking house. Shazay, baby. Or one of my favorite battle rappers out there. My favorite homies in the first place. You know I appreciate saying? the fuck out of We try. We try. The hey. battlers, we try. I know, and you guys be doing a great job, man. Today we're going to be smoking off of the Pathfinder Funky Field Tip. Yes, you see it right there. You can find them at funkyfieldtips.com. This is a custom piece prototype. It'll be available soon, so be jealous right now, but you'll be able to get it later. Um, we are uh, going to be smoking some of this Paris OG. Okay. Right here. Shout out to my man, Dr. K, for providing us with the medicine um, from one doctor to another. And, uh, shit. That's a monster, shit. Now, you've been a part of some classic ass battles on singles and doubles. I've seen Yeah. It. And, uh, you know, you're one of those guys that is the people's favorites, I think, to a lot of people, you know, just because you be, you know, <laughs> you come off and it's witty, it's funny, and you got your own distinct style and shit. Like yeah, that. I'm definitely not sounding like every other motherfucker that's out there. And uh, I try to be like regional about it, you know what I mean? I'm like a sports team for where I'm from. I say right. Jose before I do everything from San Jose. Right. I love my city, you know what I mean? I try to bring that into battling. How long have you been actually battling? I mean, because I know you do music as well. Yeah. And you, you, you uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes you're on the battle tip and then other times you're going and making actual, you know, music out there, which obviously there's a stereotype that's always been out there. That, battle rappers can't write songs and uh, songwriters can't necessarily battle rap but yeah. I mean I think these days and times right now with, with the way that it is now I think that's changed I think a lot of you guys can write songs now because I've personally heard a couple yeah and I, well I think it's like a, it's, it's practice man if, if you spend a lot of time working on being the best battle rapper in the world it's not going to transfer over to writing music you know right. what I mean and I definitely have spent time doing both and that's I've suffered in battles because my music endeavors you know like i'm on a tour in japan and then i'm off a plane 36 hours i gotta battle one of the best guys in the world you know right. what i mean you go from like song mode to have to go to gladiator mode yeah and it's 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 definitely different and like i've suffered in battles because of it i'm, I'm sure that at points my music suffered because i didn't you know put that focus in and for me it's definitely about knowing that there's a difference and separating them and not you know, I got off this last tour, I had a battle coming up, and I didn't do shit. Just mm. battle, battle, battle. You know? And, uh, you know, that it's 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 definitely a fine line you write, because you're right. The, the, the one thing that you focus on more of, you're going to do better. And I think that's been the thing with battle rappers. They focused so much on being the best at that. That they did neglect. And you got to to be on that level. You right. need to be like a disaster. You need to be crazy. You got to do your thinking homework, about it. right? On mm -hmm. on the other battle rapper, as opposed to thinking of a concept for a song you might want to write. Yeah. There's a whole focus behind it. It's like being a, a fighter. You train for the fight. Yeah. You, and some you, dudes are great in the gym, and and it doesn't transfer. It doesn't over. transfer over yeah. and shit. But you're not one of those guys. I've seen it. You know what I mean? And, and and that's the cool shit about you is that, you know, people maybe come in and expecting one thing and then you hit them with some shit and, you know, they really can't come back from it. And that's, you know, we've, wa we've watched a lot of your battles on b Real too. Uh, yeah, man. I, I've been, I, we got a chance to watch a battle before and, uh, like I said, it was an honor. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a West Coast kid, so I grew up on your music. And we've had an opportunity, like, to travel like we, we were doing these gigs in Sweden and it was like you know, dub C and crazy yeah. tunes and like we're kicking it out there and, and like we're all on the same card together and I'm like this is not it's, it's crazy right mm, this is not that's how big weird, the, you know that's how I mean? big the battle rap culture has become is that it, it, it has taken you guys all over the world is make, making you guys like international stars and shit you know in that regard like yeah. because before it'd be just regional you'd be doing the battles here or there in the United States and nobody's really traveling from one thing to another no, yeah. pretty much standing in your, in your region but the guys with the names like yourself and Diz and DNA there's really yeah Boston, there's a handful you know there's a handful of guys you know Pat and they, they get invited to go across the world and fucking battle, man. And that, that is great. That's a testament to all you guys that 
do it on that level that you would want that, that motherfuckers would call for you. Yeah, I mean, did you see it when you started? Did you see that it? was, and I, I mean, like I've been battling like pre eight mile and shit. You know what I mean? And right. I, I actually remember, you know, eight mile coming out, and then the battle scene opening wide, and there was all these tournaments, and, and so like people like me and Thesaurus and like, Immaculate, and a and, lot of people. And another legend, the uh, Thesaurus. Yeah, totally. Sure. And around, we were all in the same circles battling each other in freestyle battles, and then all of a sudden in. You know, in 2008, it just switched to this, you know, new acapella format. I did and then, form, yeah. you know, and it was directly attached to YouTube. And as that, the, you know, it just to skyrocketed. To you know what I mean? Off. And I seen right away in the Philippines, right off the bat, these fools had way more views than us, like yeah. 10 times. So I was yeah. like, oh, I got to be the first guy to go to the Philippines. You know what I mean? I was, and it definitely like was the smartest thing I ever did and I'd gone to the UK before that and I was the first guy to do that but uh, for this stuff and the WRC's they had people but the acapella stuff but going to the Philippines like for the first time was like that must have been massive because they love hip hop down there and then the battle shit because a lot of people you know they take the battle shit and that was one of the first elements of hip hop you know because everything was built on you know who had the better sound set which was yeah. the DJ shit mm -hmm. who had the better MC to rock the party who had the best b-boy fucking moves who had the freshest kicks always a competition go. it's always, always a, competition. a competition so I think that's why people connect to the battleship so much you know what I mean and then obviously the entertainment aspect because some of y'all be saying some off the, the, the wall shit to each other yeah. some of it very witty some of it very personal and some of it just ridiculously funny. And I, and I think it's the element of it that everybody can do it right. Right. Like there's no, all we have to do is have a camera. Everybody's got cameras on their phones, you know what yeah. I mean? Like in, in any circle of the world, if somebody thinks they're good, they can circle Jump up. Jump in, and, cipher out. Yeah, and make a battle happen right there. And then, you know, it's it's all about like getting to that king of the dot level or getting to that slaughterhouse level where you're one of those you know, yeah. guys who's chosen to represent the whole sport, you know, I mean? and, and now with seeing that, you know, the Slaughterhouse Tournament uh, and Absol releasing the, the final track on his album with Daylight on, we're seeing the industry is starting to be like, open up. Yeah, for sure. And, and it's, it's pretty, it's a good time to be a part of Battle Rap. You know? and shout out to Absol, he's a spitter. This guy can spit words, let me tell you. And, uh, you know, speaking of, of, of disaster, because you mentioned him earlier, what, I mean, he just had that battle with, um, with Matt, uh, Matt Hoffa, and obviously, you know, all the drama that came with that, I mean, you were there for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... It, <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel when something like that happens? I mean, because I mean, you've you've been a part of battles where you guys say some yeah. crazy shit to each other, and it, it probably some of y'all take it like let it roll off because this is just a part of the shit, and some guys maybe can't take it so much. But to me, it you know it didn't look like it was anything that he took personal from a line. It looked like you know it was just yeah, like there was actually some beef there. I don't know, man. It, it's it definitely. I think it goes back way further than like their time on the slaughterhouse right. together than battling. I think uh, their characters in general, Math Hoffa and, and, and Diz, are both the kind of guys that you know they put their toughness out there as a part right. of their uh, you know what I mean their uh, persona. Yeah, and it's like that's for me. That's like I don't usually have to worry about getting in a fight in a battle. You know what right. I mean? But if that's a part of your thing, especially Math Hoffa, if you're someone who punches people. On the regular, you battles. gotta be yeah. The the guy, the guy on the other end has to be ready because you might get snuffed out. I mean, it's just kind of like it becomes a thing, you know. Yeah. Like, and and even though this this incident wasn't Matt Hoffa's Start, set off, he's still related in he's another. He's related to it because he was doing it to people and then it got done to him for whatever reason. I mean, you know, because. You know, anything could incite anything, and who knows what that was. I mean, obviously, he said a line like, I should punch you in the face, and dude well, said, Yeah, he said, do it. Dude said, do it. Dude said, do it.